Hey, what's up everybody? Tom here again playing Kerbal and I have a vertical takeoff and landing tilt rotor aircraft that is pretty much reliant on the lights of the craft to do its thing. As you'll see, so I just turn the lights on, my rotors have flipped up, they've connected to docking ports on the bottom side of the craft here. KRPC is running in-game. I've written a Java client outside of the game so that when the lights on the craft change, uh, it will identify my main vessel, it will identify the additional engines here, uh, control them from the probe cores, orient them radial out uh, or radial in, and pitch up or down depending on lights on or off. So I got lights on, I'm going vertical, lights off, horizontal, and it's working. I am quite surprised, but it's working. Uh, looks pretty unconventional, and I would not fly in this thing, and neither would you. Uh, for one thing, I designed it, uh, and number B, it looks crazy. So I wouldn't fly in it, you shouldn't either. So vertical takeoff and landing, right? So we took off vertically. We should try to go horizontally, right? So I'm going to get this thing totally even. I've practiced with this a little bit. This doesn't always work. If I crash, we can try it again. The best thing that I've done so far is go down, tilt the nose down, get moving that way, turn the lights off, the engines should automatically tilt forward. Oh my god, that was too far down, or I was going too fast. This is going to be a recovery effort. Now we're connected. Too late. Nobody died. We're alright. Alright, let's try it again. Hit the brakes. I'm going to activate the engines this time. Toggle the lights. everything connected that time. Hit the engine throttle, going vertical, and I definitely could have built a design that didn't require an external program controlling the different parts of the craft, but I went all in on this thing after I started with it to make it work, and it works. So I might make a more simplified design later. But this is pretty fun to work on. Alright, so I'm going to get some altitude. Try to keep it reasonably... Wow! Okay, so those pitch down so hard that it just flips. Oh, come on. Dock, dock, dock. I'm looking for this dock right there. that doesn't dock, I'm screwed. Hmm. Hit the lights. Rotors should go up automatically. They should connect. There we go. Fully connected. Throttle up. So we know when I switch from vertical to horizontal, these things slam down. So I should almost, I don't know, like I should almost go backwards or I should almost go way into a steep dive. Just roll in and go for it. Nope. Why? They're so tricky to connect these things. Alright, so we went in an absolute vertical dive there. And I think I hear both engines going. And it sure seems like I have control. So the answer to that problem is dive vertically. When you're transitioning from vertical to horizontal, which doesn't make a lot of sense and is not a great 
Not a great design, but it worked. And now, the next challenge to go from horizontal to vertical. And I'll do that after. I'm going to try to land on top of the space center. Looking good. So let's go way up. Hit the lights. We've detached. We are not connected. Now we are fully connected. Full throttle. Falling down. I'm just going to let this thing catch itself. You can see both engines are running. They did connect that time. So yeah, the, the worst part of this design is the entire design. And the docking ports are incredibly finicky and you have to be right on in order to get those things to connect. So I honestly didn't think this thing would work, that I'd have a chance of this working. So we're going to try to land. It's working. That is working. We are going to vertically land. Oh, not quite. Not quite. We landed. Without too much trouble. So I could definitely land down on the, on the ground, but on the Space Center... Yeah, a little more patience. But, anyway, that's my tilt rotor design. Hopefully you guys liked that. Um, let me know if you have any ideas. I'll post the link to the code that controls the KRPC calls in the description.